Okay, you on? Thanks, We're on. You're running. Okay. This is the Love Bridge Waltz. This is the first song that I played. The first song that I played and felt like it sounded Cajun y. And we'll start very simply just by putting the index finger on five and the middle finger on six and the, the ring finger on seven. You don't need five. I'm going to pull it out of the way. I'm not suggesting that you pull your ring finger out of the way. I'm just doing it so that you can really see on the tape what, what I'm doing and what I'm not doing. I think another thing that gets some guys, and this is a real simple thing, you should keep your fingers on the buttons and not let your fingers come up off the buttons. Do some guys do that? Yes. Do some really good players do that? Yes. Does it help them any? I don't think so. I think the best thing in any sort of thing, if you learn to play a, 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 a piano, guitar, any, anybody will always tell you, the closer your fingers can be to the instrument, the quicker and more accurate you're going to be. So since we only, what I, what I tell people, it should feel like we put a dab of super glue underneath your finger, you know, underneath five, and it just gets stuck there, and this one gets stuck there, and that one gets stuck there. And so, <clears throat> the Love Bridge Waltz is a two-part tune, and I'll break it down into four lines for each part. So, I'll call the first part, part A, and the second part, B, you know. And uh, so, part A, there's four lines. The great thing about it, as I told y'all earlier, is the finger pattern repeats for the first three lines. It does index, index again, middle, ring, middle, middle, ring. That's the line pattern. So it goes da 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 da. And the next line is bum 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 bum. And the next one is bum 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 bum. But the, the pattern is just the same. And I'll actually have guys or, or children actually do that. Just close the bellows and just learn that, that rhythm. If they have trouble with rhythm, because some people do. You know, it's like, how do I feel this rhythmically? And he goes, da, 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 da. Same rhythm. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum. It's the same rhythm every time. Last line is different. Line four is... <laughs> uh, okay, now you see it. That one we're going to have to work on a little bit. Let me just go ahead and play each line. This is line one. It starts with a push of the bellows and the index finger pattern that we've already gone over. <laughs> breaking it down, right? This is not rhythmic. This is just breaking it down. Second line. This was all pushing the bellows. The third line is the same as the first, which you remember is two pushes to begin with. The rest is pull. Usually at this point, with the beginning student, I say, do you realize you have three quarters of the part A learned, you know? And, and if, if they don't believe me, I'll, I'll go very slowly with them and do. Okay, and I'll tell them, very good. And then we'll do the second line all on the push. And I'll tell them, very good. And I'll say, you remember the first line? Do it again. And by that time, we have a little celebration, and it's, everybody feels good. That's important, because if you're beginning, the next line has a lot of different push-pulls. You know, it starts like this. This is line four. Which was pull, pull, push. line broken down with no regard to rhythm. Push. Pull. Another thing that I'll point out to students is, do you notice that you don't have to pull at every note that's like a pull note? It's just a basic motion. So the, it begins with 
pull, pull, two notes on the pull. But I don't do, I don't jerk the bellows twice. I don't do jerk, jerk. I just, I just start gradually pulling the bellows, and I, and I just press the buttons, which my fingers are super glued to. That's all I do. Now the next part is all push. I didn't even play that button again. I didn't even press it again. I did so slow I got lost. <laughs> so here it is again. But basically what I what I try and what I try to get beginning students to not do is go <laughs> with the bellows, you know, like jerk, jerk, push, push. Notice there's a pattern of pulling, and then a whole pattern of pushing. And then a long pulling pattern. And then it ends with a push. So it kind of goes. Da -da 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 -da. It's kind of got that going on. So here's the A part of the song, rhythmic but slow. Can you just mm -hmm. go that way just a little? Yeah, either yeah. the chair or something. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Just, yeah, just so. It's easy. Okay. One, two, three, ready, play. <laughs> thinking about it but I hope my fingers didn't do like this as I was playing because if they are doing like that I have a lot of opportunity to be inaccurate or out of time try to keep your fingers as, as close as possible let the, the spring of the button carry your finger up let your finger ride up on the button and just stay on top of the button whenever it closes that's a simple thing but I think it's a real important thing I mean it, it eventually is real important. Okay, that's the first part of the song. Of course, this is bare bones. This is a skeleton of the tune. This does nobody in Cage Music plays that song like that. It's always much more embellished. But this is the skeleton. When we once we have the bones there, when we're going to start to flesh it out, we're going to put more meat on it. I want to go on to part B, which we call the turn. <laughs> 